gonna demonstrate how to do a single plait, just your normal three strand plait. Let me just brush this out a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna make it as simple as I can. Apologies in advance if she keeps doing that because this thing isn't very, well, it's not a mannequin head holder, it's just a tripod. So yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to split the hair into three sections, try and make them as equal as you can. So I'm gonna just split it with my fingers. So this is strand one. This is strand two in the middle and this is strand three. And they're all pretty equal. There's two ways you could plait. I do it, I prefer to do it the, the way I'm gonna show you now, but there's another way you can do it as well. So I take this strand, which is the middle strand, and then I place it over the third strand here. So I place it over that strand like this. This strand is still here chilling on its own. And then what I'm going to do is whilst holding it, I'm going to just take this strand that we left before. I'm going to take it and then place it underneath this strand. So that this strand is now in the middle. And then you're going to take this strand, place it underneath so it ends up in the middle, like so. And then again, just pull it so that it starts to become a bit more tight and taut. Then again, you take the strand on the left, you're going to put it underneath so it now ends up in the middle, like so. Pull it so it's a bit tighter. Then take the last strand again, put it underneath so it ends up in the middle. So I'm just going like this. What makes this tricky is kind of trying to hold the hair as you're um, pulling each strand underneath. Other than that, the technique is pretty simple. All you're doing is taking the first strand, placing it so it ends up in the middle, and then taking the last strand and placing it so it ends up in the middle. So I'm just gonna carry on. So I'm taking this strand again, the last strand. Then I just place it underneath so it ends up in the middle, like so. Take this first strand again, and then I place it underneath so it ends up in the middle. And then this strand again, place it underneath, so it's now in the middle, and then you just keep going. I'm just going to do it slowly so you guys can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, once you get the hang of it, you can do it without letting go of the hair. So I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna do it how I would usually do it, as in the way my hands would kind of flow as I do it. So now that you've got the technique down, it's just about finding your flow. Okay, so same thing as before, I take my middle strand, I know before I put this strand underneath first, but this time I'm going to put this strand underneath just to show you guys that you can start whichever direction you want. So you can start off with this strand going underneath first, then end up in the middle, then you bring the last strand underneath so it ends up in the middle, bring the first strand again underneath so it ends up in the middle, 
last strand again so it ends up in the middle then the first strand and as you can see the way that my hands are moving it is constantly holding the hair and it just kind of begins to flow quite naturally and you'll notice that you'll probably start doing the same thing once you get a hang of it cool okay now I'm going to show you the other way that you could do it I don't like doing it this way because it doesn't allow me to move my hands in a consistent or fast um, flotation or way so I'll show you guys basically it's the same as the other one but this time you're going over as opposed to under so I'm going to split my section into three like so okay so before we were doing is we were going underneath this time we're going to put the hair over so again the middle section is always the base start off with this or this side I'm going to start off with this side I put the hair over this time so it now ends up in the middle same take this last strand and put the hair over so it's now in the middle Okay, then you just kind of pull it so it starts to become secure. Keep your grip of the hair. Take this first strand again and put it over so it's now in the middle. Then take the strand again and then just kind of pull the hair. Take the strand again, put it over so it's now in the middle. Pull it so it becomes taut and tight. Take this first strand again, put it over. So it's now in the middle and then take this strand, put it over so it's now in the middle. You hold this as you're going along so it stays sturdy. Take this strand, you put it over so it ends up in the middle. Take this strand, put it over so it ends up in the middle. Pull it as you're doing it so it's nice and taut. Just keep doing the same thing over. Hold it here so it's tight. Hold this strand over and again over and again over and again over. is the same kind of result but I'll show you um, when I'm doing it in real time so you can understand why I don't like doing it this way it's probably easier to do it this way actually because you can probably see what I'm doing this time but you probably couldn't really see properly the other time so put it over this strand put it over then I'm just going to keep plaiting and as you can see, it's a bit more awkward in terms of hand placement than it was when I did the other method. This one I'm kind of having to pause and grip, pause and grip, pause and grip. So yeah, that's that. Um, let me show you my other technique again. Now I'm standing on a different side so you can probably just see my hands a bit better. So same thing as before, you take the first strand, place it underneath it now becomes the new middle strand. Take this last strand, you place it underneath, so it now becomes a new middle strand. Take this strand again, place it underneath, so it now becomes a new middle strand. You take this last strand again, place it underneath, so it now becomes a new middle strand. And then you just keep repeating. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!